The Great Lakes Rabbit Sanctuary has been rescuing and housing rabbits and other animals since 1995. The sanctuary used to be called Pig Hoppers. At the time, there were a large number of pigs that were in need of rescue. Then it was decided that there was an overwhelming need for a rabbit rescue in the area, and in 2005, a name change took place. One year later, with the help of Best Friends Animal Society, the sanctuary purchased the five-acre property that they had been renting. They are now the largest rabbit rescue in the country, housing more than 550 domestic rabbits. Most shelters only care for about 100 rabbits. The Great Lakes Rabbit Sanctuary has rescued rabbits from all over the Midwest. The majority of the over 500 residents were rescued from Reno, Nevada in the winter of 2006. The Best Friends Animal Society from Utah saved over 800 rabbits from a property in Reno, but they found they had too much to handle by themselves after the rabbits doubled in number before they were able to be spayed and neutered. The Great Lakes Rabbit Sanctuary offered to help and agreed to take a couple hundred rabbits, but to their surprise, 500 Reno rabbits ended up being sent to them. The Best Friends Animal Society called it the Great Rabbit Rescue of 2006. About one year later, Great Lakes Rabbit Sanctuary helped out another rescue group who had also taken some of the original Reno rabbits, and another 108 were brought to Michigan. Best Friends Animal Society thanked the Great Lakes Rabbit Sanctuary by building the living areas for their new rabbit residents. The rabbit residents come from different backgrounds. Some led happy lives, and some had a tougher beginning. Regardless of their background, the Great Lakes Rabbit Sanctuary's goal is to provide a warm and loving home for the rabbit residents, whether they will be staying with them for a short time or they can call the sanctuary their permanent home. The sanctuary also provides a home to some white New Zealand rabbits that were saved from a future of lab research. They also try and rescue rabbits that are on death row at other shelters. When a rabbit arrives at the sanctuary, they receive medical care if needed, they are spayed or neutered, and after that, they are ready to be adopted. There is an adoption form online for you to fill out. After that, you can come down to the sanctuary and pick out your new pet. The sanctuary loves seeing the bunnies go to their new forever homes. If a rabbit isn't eligible for adoption because of too many health problems or a bad temperament, they will be able to live out the rest of their lives at the sanctuary. To the rabbit's delight, the Great Lakes Rabbit Sanctuary is a no-kill facility. There is an on-site hospital that takes care of the rabbits. Jessica Bradley, an EMU student, is one of the hospital caretakers. In the hospital, I take care of the animals. We uh, give them meds when they need them. We do, um, we do shots, we do treatments, flushing abscesses, uh, cleaning wounds and cuts, things like that. Uh, we pretty much do everything we can in the hospital here. What we don't do is anything that involves anesthesia or a surgery of some kind because we just we don't have the training or the equipment. But everything else we try and do, just it's cheaper. Unfortunately, many people do not understand how much work is required to care for a rabbit correctly, and they feel they need to abandon them. Domestic rabbits have been found wandering in the wild because their owners think it's okay to release them, but that's not true. Domestic rabbits have not been taught by their mothers to care for themselves in the wild, and they need human assistance. The sanctuary often steps up to rescue some of these abandoned rabbits, but others aren't so lucky and get taken by a predator, hit by a car, or suffer some other horrible fate. But when a person does feel overwhelmed and wants to surrender their rabbit, the sanctuary tries to help them out as much as possible by educating them on proper bunny care. Sometimes a person just needs a quick lesson on bunny proofing their house, a referral for a spay or neuter clinic, or just an explanation of a rabbit's behavior. The sanctuary is always there as an educational resource to rabbit owners. They even distribute free pamphlets called Bunny Basics to vets, pet stores, and other places to help educate the public on proper bunny care. The sanctuary takes in as many rabbits as they can, but they hope that their educational efforts will decrease the number of rabbits who enter the sanctuary every year. The sanctuary is based solely on donations and contributions, and there are many different ways that you can help. 
They will always accept monetary donations or supplies for the rabbits. A list of the needed supplies is available on their website, rabbitsanctuary.org. If a person is in a situation where they would like to help out a rabbit, but they don't want to take on all of the responsibility, they could sponsor a rabbit. But the best way to help the sanctuary is by volunteering. There is a volunteer form that can be filled out on their website. This form is used so the sanctuary knows what the volunteer would like to help with. Some of the choices include socializing needy animals, ground maintenance, feeding, cleaning the rabbit pens, office work, or more. Many of your fellow students have already volunteered at the sanctuary. EMU's Alpha Phi Omega sorority and the Students for Animal Rights at EMU have both given their time. Eastern Students for Animal Rights has been volunteering at Great Lakes Sanctuary for the past couple semesters and uh, it's getting bigger every time we go out and we're all enjoying it a lot. Uh, my favorite part of working at the sanctuary would be socializing direct directly with the bunnies. It's a wonderful experience to be able to hold them and pet them and be able to learn their personalities and just get to know them. Everyone loves working with the rabbits. I usually groom the bunnies and they're, they're just wonderful to be around. They're very different than cats or dogs. So just, just having that experience with them is, is what makes it worth it. And the people are nice. I actually like sweeping. When you're done, it's really rewarding because everything's like clear. I don't know. I, I enjoy it. I like sweeping. I also like interacting with the pigs because they happen to have pigs there. And they're, they're actually very hilarious. Like, yeah, you, you think that pigs, you know, oh, they're dirty, roll around in mud. No, they're actually really awesome. Volunteering is a great way to make a difference. So no matter if it's spring, summer, winter, or fall, you're welcome at the Great Lakes Rabbit Sanctuary. Just, just come out, you know, um, spend an hour, you know, look around. You'll probably have a good time. You'll probably want to get involved. You know, just, just try it. Just, you know, just try it. Just any, like trying anything new or trying a new food. Just come on out and try it. The Great Lakes Rabbit Sanctuary welcomes guests and volunteers alike. However, as they are not open to the public on a daily basis, they ask that you contact them ahead of time to make an appointment or join a volunteer day. It can be reached at 734-461-1726 or online at rabbitsanctuary.org. I love it here.